We all look fine. None of us are using crutches, a cane, or a wheelchair. But there's something unique about each one of us. Each one of us has a brain injury, and each one of us has a story behind it. That's what we want to share with you. Life's all about choices. It's your choice to smoke pot or drink alcohol. Kids make that choice too often and it's a really bad choice. I look fine, but I was almost killed by a hit and run drunk driver and left with a traumatic brain injury. So what can a bad choice do to your brain? I'm glad you asked. I'm here to show you exactly what alcohol does to the underage brain and why it's imperative to have our speakers group present to you. Our dedicated group will passionately share their stories and bring awareness to the dangers of brain injury and how to prevent or recognize one. Here's some of the things you might see in someone even if you don't know they've had a brain injury. I look fine, but I went out skating on my longboard without a helmet. I ended up in a coma for two months. It changed my whole family. Now my children at times have to treat me as a sibling instead of their father. I look fine, but I can't ride a bike through the city anymore even though I could ride just fine for 30 years. I don't think fast enough to stay safe and my vision is messed up. You can't see any of these problems. I did have a helmet on for most of my bike wrecks over the years, but even with a helmet you can still get a concussion and the mild traumatic brain injuries just add up before you realize it. And there you are, a full grown adult having to learn how to ride a bike again. As you've heard, each one of us has challenges and surprisingly amazing stories to share. Our goal is to inform our audience. This will empower you to possibly prevent brain injury and recognize and support your community when one does happen. This way, fewer and fewer people will fall through the cracks and face brain injury in silence.